Right, quick disclaimer before the video starts, uh, this is obviously Brexit's video, and uh, monetization will be off. Uh, please go watch his video, I'm going to be pausing throughout and all that stuff, so, you know, watch his video, it's incredible. You know, like, all that other fun stuff, and yeah, I uh, hope you enjoy this video. Okay, so today we're going to be watching for Pex series, uh segmented run of Parkour Spiral, and I'm going to be commentating through it, and also explaining things, and also pointing out anything he missed, because I'm sure there might be something. But this is already, like, I've not even seen it, I already know it's an insane time, we're looking at 6.14, jeez, so uh, yeah, let's just get watching. So you can already see there that he took a, uh, just at this tree park and took a different route than normal. Um, you can see here that he um, he goes around the tree. I assume this is for better momentum. Of course, we don't really do this because it's a bit harder, but you know, apparently it saves time. So, you know, that's cool. And there he just did a head hitter jump. Just a bit back. If you go here, you'll see a head hitter jump on that stone block that was up there. If you just go back a few frames. There is a block that I did a head hitter jump just to go a little bit faster. So that's pretty cool. And then he took that route. Yeah, I saw that coming. So yeah, for those who don't know, just go back in like five seconds. He's dying. Okay, good to know. So yeah, that he did a he did a uh, slab boost off of the stair. Just go a bit faster. Then he uh, I, yeah, he did a head header jump there, and instantly goes around here, jumps that flawlessly. Obviously, it's segmented. Go faster. Very nice. I'm kind of surprised he didn't do it as an E2 either. Like, I'm actually kind of shocked he didn't do that as an E2E to go faster. Because if you did an E2E up there and then there, you go 5 block, which is enough to get to there. Hit the edge. You could have actually uh, saved a bit of time there if you did E2E onto there. And so you wouldn't have to jump there, but I don't know if that's faster or slower, so yeah. But I, I assume it would be faster, but god knows. Flying bridges all set up with, as expected. Is it just me or did he do a step ledge there? Kind of like he did a step ledge, so he could have actually lost a bit of time there. Um, I don't know the exact height of that sign glitch, but it actually might save time if it was a low, but I don't think it was a low. I mean, he went pretty high. I've already seen this. I actually haven't seen, I haven't seen that, right. Um, But like, I swear here, like just on this bit coming up. You can jump there and get to there. I swear that is a skip. I'm gonna check that after we uh, finish this. Okay, interesting. Oh, oops, that's affecting volume. I thought he was was gonna do the uh, strat where you jump from here off that edge, so you go off this edge here of the stone, off that edge onto there. But apparently not. Interesting. Um, and yeah, here we just did uh, the normal strat. Nothing fancy. Yeah, four X two. Psycho cat missed that one as well. Oh, well, that's an interesting strat back here. Uh, using the head editor on the trap door to jump off of there. Very nice. Cool. 
almost a really slow elevation. Then this strat over here, but like no one does, because can all do. That jump, yeah. And then this jump here, yeah. Then slime glitch, yeah. Over to here, we do that jump. Oh, interesting, okay. Also, I should mention this run is done in, uh, what was it done in? 1.19, 1.18? So pre 1.20. So edge slime glitch in there and jumping on honey still exists, so. The realistic time would be a little bit slower for modern versions, but this is fastest time possible. But I also assume that's excluding illegal slime glitches, like, you know, pausing and uh, yeets, but you know. Very smooth turn there. I wonder why I swim so low there. I don't know if that is faster, but gone those. I don't know the momentum strats. Yeah, around here. No one does that too hard to force that there. Saves a tiny bit of time, not a lot. Very fast though. Of course, setup plus makes everything faster, but you know. Okay, yeah, doing that. Yeah. Yep, and then doing that. So there was a faster strike here, but I don't think I was showing time, and I don't know if it actually is faster or not. This, I mean, that seems pretty smooth. I'm doing the uh, crouch glitch, can be a little bit slow. Because you'd have to go from here, round and down. So I don't actually know if it's faster. It might be. I mean, point like that is faster, but I don't know. I, I don't know how to time these things down. My, my movement ain't some good anyway. Goal swing that strat. Always do that strat when you're doing so. When you're doing segmented runs, it's just so fast and segmented because you just go. It's kind of hard to do in real time, but whatever. It's a skip that exists. It doesn't save much. Nice happy loop. Yeah, L2. As is. Oh, nice. I'm assuming it's just this, you're gonna jump. Yeah, do that. <laughs> okay, now he's gotta do a setup plus, right? Gotta do a setup plus. Yeah. The seal strat. Now, is he gonna do this jump? No, he's not. Is he gonna do this slime glitch? Yeah. Okay, that's what he's doing. Now let's try to believe. Yeah. Yeah. Doing the uh, new one. New one. SGS. That's what it's called. And this is the new up. Cross new or whatever it's called. I'm fucking up. And jumping on honey, which, you know, no longer allowed, but. Well, you save a couple seconds, plus it's for content. Who cares? This is not going on any speed or not calm the water or anything. Okay, he's doing this strat. Yeah, he's doing this strat. Nice. All set up this, of course. And now Psycho can't miss that. And here's a run to this, uh, not the second to run that is. Alright, and then he should be doing the SSJ here. I'd be shocked if. What? No. Oi, but what? You, he missed that? Dude, dude why didn't he do the SSJ? What? Come on. You know about that existing. What? What? Okay. Just don't do the SSJ. Um, I, I, I thought for certain he would have done that. 
a wall. That is the most shocking thing in this video so far, that he didn't do that SSJ. Uh, whatever. Um, <laughs> I wonder if he's gonna do the L2, because I don't actually know if the L2 is faster. I'm assuming he knows about it, if he doesn't, then he doesn't. I'm not actually sure how much faster it is. Okay, yeah, it is faster. <laughs> It's pretty hard though. Alright. Damn. That's so fast. Fuck yeah, no. Yeah. Damn, dude. <laughs> Bro, okay. <laughs> okay. So, so Perfect Source is on the Discord server. He, he turns out. He was jumping from the edge of the daylight sensor, and he was doing it as an E2E instead of an SSJ. <laughs> okay, goofy moment. Alright, so yeah, this E2E, I assumed he would have done this, but I can't do it. It's kind of tricky to do it as an E2E. I thought for sure he was going to do an E2E there, but I don't know if it is actually faster. Wait. I don't know if you can actually make it. I assume you can. I cannot parkour. Because, I mean, 3 to 5 works with E2E. Maybe not. I mean, I don't know the most about parkour. But I'm pretty sure if you hit the E2E perfectly on the edge, you could make it. It's been kind of tricky to do, though. I'm sure if you did that, you would be able to make it. Mm, I don't know. I mean, maybe you'd be able to make it up to here if you hit it on the edge. And then you could jump over like that. But I really don't know anything else. Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm too lazy to try and do that for ages to get on there. Um, thank you all for watching. And yeah, see you next time.